this is TS2 Can and Karen. And welcome back to Tilly Bits. Oh. Alright. What, what in, is that in the background sticking up from the fence? Oh, that's a little project I'm going to be working on here in a few. But before we get into that, we check out the barn. I've done a little work to it, made it look a little better, and I uh, hope you like it. Let's get in the doorway here. And, um, yeah, look at that. I polished up the windows a little bit and made an individual pen for, you know, the milking stations for the cows. Rufus is over here with his udders out, ready to be serviced. <laughs> his head stuck in the wall, as usual. And May our prize cow, Maybell, is over here. So there's no confusion. We know where she is. Oh, she's mad at Rufus. She's just like, I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you my udders. She is mad at Rufus. She's turning her ass up in my <laughs> face. Alright. And the rest of them are pretty much for steak and leather. Yeah. Aww. Oh, aw, yourself. <laughs> it's a it's a cow. Oops. Uh, close the door. I saw you put a um, loft up in there and you had a ladder on the wall. Yeah, I did like a little hay loft. Um, up in there, you can see it, it's up there. Yeah, it's overhanging. And I, then there's a ladder on the wall, which was cool. Was yeah, that? I haven't really seen, I haven't really done anything with it yet. Hope, hopefully I'll figure something out. Maybe put some yellow wool up there, make it look like hay bales or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's the cow pen. The chickens are over there, but we need a place for sheep, because we need sheep. So, let's make a, let's see here, let's extend it out. Say about right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. That works. And we need. Oh, God. Don't have any. We need gates. Okay. We'll be. Yeah. We need gates. Okay. We just need two sheep anyway. We need to get to grab some weeds. As you can see on the tree, I put in a, a little extra tier on top to start with the trunk. Haven't really done anything with it, but we're taking a break from doing the big ass tree so we can uh, get some food before we starve to death so while we're at it why not make the whole farm this time instead of just part of it you know do it all in one shot um, as you can see I also went down and collected my damn seeds and stuff from the chest and the, the the strip mine right I found it, it was oh really the one the chest you left down there and couldn't find yeah like I guess a, you found it yeah I was an idiot leaving it down there in the first place <laughs> I forgot I had it on me and I stuck it in the chest and, you know. Well, luckily you found it, so that's a good thing. Oh, what what the hell am I doing? Wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to make a fence gate. I'm doing the wrong thing, so. And two, okay. Two fence gates, perfect. And done. Oh, it's nighttime, okay. Let's sleep! Yay! Let's sleep! In the nice comfy bed with nothing around it. I need to make a proper bedroom eventually. Okay. Right now, with the little time you spend in it, it works out fine. Yeah, really. You're carrying your axe. Uh, yeah. I guess it was lighter than carrying the fence gate. <laughs> okay. Well, fence gates are small. So okay, He-Man, Toucan. Alright, so I'm going to open up both of these gates and get these suckers through. Uh, do you remember where we saw sheep? I think it was over that way, wasn't it? Was it was on the hill. Ah, the hill over there had sheep, and okay. so does the other one, but we'd have to figure out how to get them across the water. Oh, they can swim. Yeah, if they feel up Oh, to okay, it. so here, excuse me, here are the sheep. Let's just grab some sheep, okay. Yo. What's up, black sheep? What's oh, up, white cool. sheep? white one and a black one. Ebony and ivory, yeah. living in perfect harmony. They look like piano keys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get one more. I saw some slacker up here. He needs to come into my pen. It'll be groomed. Oh, there's two more. Oh, there's one over there. That's the one calling you where? On our side? Yeah. Oh, yeah, on the top of the hill. 
Forget the black sheep. I don't care. Ah, uh, he's pretty. I need white sheep. We don't want to get, you know, gray sheep. We don't want gray wool, we want it's white still wool. still following you, it wants the wheat. The thing of it is about the, the colored sheep, you don't want the colored sheep. Because the white sheep, the pure... Are pure? Not, not only, it's not that the fact that they're pure, but you are able to dye their wool. Oh, and you can't dye black wool. No. You can dye white wool. I can make these guys have blue wool, and when I shear them, and they eat grass, they'll regrow their wool, and it'll always be that color. Right. Unless I change, unless I dye them again. So you have to warp... You have to walk backwards for them to follow you. Kind of. I just can't, I can't be too far away from them when I'm Then I'll turn around. around and go away. Yeah. But yeah, we got some sheep. That was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. But that's all we need. So we can make any color amount of wool we need with sheep, and that saves sheep. You know, go you know, in. Now please give them some wheat when you bring them in. I will. I'm going to make them have some babies. You guys are gonna have some babies. Uh, no, get back there, Clyde. I'm gonna name you Clyde. I'm gonna name you uh, Shelly. Shelly, okay. Shelly and Clyde. I'll bet you didn't give him any. Kissy, kissy, and out pops a little shit. Uh, did if, he have some? No. I can't give them any. Oh god, she just ate the whole thing of grass. Yeah, they eat grass. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna have that stripped. Well, the grass grow the grass grows back. So see, he he ate it too. The cool thing about it is, well, as soon as they eat grass in Minecraft, when I do that, they instantly regrow their wool. Oh, cool. So when you can just shear a whole bunch of sheep, you get say about ten or fifteen of them. Uh huh. You shear them. You stand there for about two or three minutes. They'll eat the grass. And you'll see their wool pop back up. And then you can shear them again. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> well, they will definitely have that pen. And the little guy eats... Oh, wow. He ate the whole square. Yeah. And he'll grow up to be a big, strong lamb chop one day. God, they do eat a lot Oh, of he crap. ran away from me. He's like, Mommy, no. I don't want yeah. to lamb chop. Well, we know who his mommy is. That's yeah. cool. He goes to her. He ate another square. Look at that. He's got two squares... Holy, three squares. He's hungry. Lambs, I'll be back. Drink your mommy's milk. I'll be back with mint jelly. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's looking at me like... What the, mm. the hell is wrong with you? You butthole. <laughs> All right. Now that we got that out of the way, what I also wanted to do was this oddly shaped pen over here. This is going to be the automatic ego reader. That's what those posts on the corner are for. Yep, and I'm going to show you exactly how to build this damn thing. And it's pretty easy to build, too, so... Pay attention, people. I'm only going to do this once. Well, maybe... Yeah, maybe just once. Alright, alright, let's see here. First of all, I'll end up having to give these chi- I'll have to get these chickens in here after I build it. So... But not before here. So what I want to do... Let's just block it off with a fence, like so. I'll go ahead and grab these eggs. Hopefully they spawn some chickens. I need some chickens, so I'll just collect these eggs for now. Alright. Oh, not a torch, dumbass. There we go. Okay, first things first. Dig out the hole for the entrance to go get the eggs. So, let's see here. I need it back about right here. Is that center? Yes, that is center. And we need to dig down to get up under the fence. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's right. You're going to have to go under the fence. Yes. Oh, well, I saw you build one of these before, a long time ago. And it was really cool how it worked. Yeah, this is uh, my own original design. It doesn't need any redstone or anything for it. And it works great. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you expect? And that was perfect place for stairs. Yep. And what do you expect from the toucan? You should expect nothing less than the best stuff. Especially without redstone. I don't like using redstone too much if I can help it, because I use redstone for more important things. All right, King Toucan. All right, next thing is, we got the, the entrance started, but we need to find the exact center of this thing 
uh, this this thing, uh, this pen. So let's uh let's get that uh, exact uh, center. Easy way to do that is with dirt or with some other kind of material, whatever kind of material you want to use. Just go on a diagonal, straight across, and you can find the center that way. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So five and six on this thing coming from there would be, I guess, center? Five and six right uh, here. Yeah, because five and a half of ten. So, let's see here. Oh, no. Behave yourself, Toucan. I know you're anxious to build this, but please. Okay, so that should be center. So I just kind of dig down right here. A couple blocks. Aha! Huh, there's your stairs. Yep. Or your walkway, anyway. Perfect. And that's the underside. That's This is the place where you get the eggs. So, if I leave it like that, I need to cover this up, actually. Uh, let's cover it up with cobblestone. I don't want water droplets, you know. I don't like water droplets. Actually, you know what? It's It'll be fine. Well, you could remove the dirt and put gravel. Well, I guess you could because it's dirt and grass on top. Yeah, yeah, you have to have the grass on top. Right. But, I mean, this will, this will all be changed. I'll put some stairs here so it'll be nice and, uh, you know, even. And that's pretty much it. Also, I need to make some fences. Or not fences, um, ladders. So I can jump up and collect all the extra that doesn't quite fall down. And some of you guys are probably wondering right now, what the hell is he going to do with this? <laughs> you shall see very soon, my friends, very soon. Okay, we're going to make like that on each of these corners. Just like a small, like, Hubert pyramid thing. Very simple. Well, it's cool it doesn't take redstone, so it's kind of neat to find a new way to do it without having to use your good redstone. Yeah. Besides, I need the redstone for the wiring in the toucan tree. For the kingdom, you know. Uh -huh. The toucan kingdom must have electricity, otherwise the citizens would get, uh, say, angry at the toucan. The toucan must be a good king. The subjects must have the best Wi-Fi in the land. Oh boy. Your kingdom went to your head, old kingy. Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, even Pierre likes the idea. Oh, oui, oui. I can look up recipes on my computer. Oh, oui, oui. Oh, down, Pierre. Down, boy. Oh, sorry. Uh, middle of the block. That just gave me an idea. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you can. You can place it straight down. You can place it on any surface. No, I didn't know you could put it in the middle of the block like that. And that gave me an idea for something I'm building in my world, so I will show you later on when I get it done. Okay. Well, that's very nice. Maybe. All right. So I need <laughs> <laughs> I need more fences, definitely. Um, so let me go back and make some fences, and I also need some ladders. And let's go make some. I don't think I've showed you how to build a ladder, have I? Nope. But someday, can we devise a little scoot car that we can go from the treehouse to the barn and the pens and go quicker a than walking? A scoot car? Yeah. Maybe I, something on a rail. Like a, like a mine truck? Yeah, mine that would track? be cool. Yeah, we can, but it's going to take a lot of materials. And that, you know what that means? Uh-oh. An adventure. Oh, mining. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, what in the world am I doing? I need stickies. Lots of sticks. Okay. Lots of sticks. Yay, everybody loves sticks. No, they don't like sticks. Sticks is a shit band. Sorry, sticks, but we don't like you very much. So, 
take your midnight train to nowhere and shove it. <laughs> Actually, that's not even Oh, it's person. nighttime already again. God bless it. Come on. Good grief. See What's if... daytime? Two hours long and nighttime's twelve? Yeah, it always seems like that. Mm-hmm. It always seems like it takes a lot longer at night than during the day. Oh, boy. Anyway. Let's get this aggerator finished and up and running. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have slabs with me? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yeah. I got slabs for the roof. We can make a roof. Roof, roof. And you know what I forgot? What'd you forget? Crafting table. I mean, not a crafting table, but uh, I forgot to use the crafting table to make more fences. Yeah, well, I'm going to fill up the uh, the actual cage area for the, the chickens with fences. Oh. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, three tall all the way around, so it's going to take quite a bit of fencing. Haha, <laughs> fencing. It's a sport. <laughs> I don't think that chickens would think so. No. Okay, so there we go. I'm not going to put that there. Just jets. It's a... This cow is giving you the weird look like, what the hell are you doing? You have giant cows coming in here? No. Wait till Shh. they see you're putting noisy chickens next to them. Yeah, the noisy neighbors. Everybody needs the noisy neighbors. <laughs> Actually, the chickens aren't that bad. They're not that noisy. Uh, I don't know. They're gonna be splashing around like a bunch of That's retards. That's what I but... mean. And we're just gonna finish this off a little bit. Oh yeah. Well, fudge. <laughs> One more. You're almost there. One more, one more, one more, always one more. Okay. There we go. Now, we have run into the problem of getting the chickens into the pen. So what I shall do is trap them with my cunningness and cleverality. Oh yeah. That is cunning and clever, no? No. Why? You'll, you shall see soon. I will decorate this hallway up and make it look a whole lot nicer. Once I'm done. Letters. So the water doesn't spill out into this area. Uh, kind of put ladders right there. Makes it look nice, you know? Juno? Okay. Juno? Junoma? Junoma! You, you, you don't know? No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Pinchy gordita. <laughs> I don't believe you said that. I don't care. I had a lot of, you know, I had a lot of Mexican friends in high school. They were cool guys. We used to joke about that stuff all the time. Because they're about just about sick of stereotypes as much as we are. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So they joke about it. Somebody be, being a complete asshole to them, they go like, Yo, senor, you want a burrito? I can make you one. Oh. And then the guys just like uh, laugh at them and walk away. And they get a good kick out of it too because they're just like stupid fucking idiots. <laughs> well... You get tired of people making fun of your nationality after a while. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, you have to be able to laugh at yourself, too. Yes, you do. But not to the point where, I mean, not to the point where you're comfortable with it, make people just deliberately making fun of your fucking heritage like that. I think that's very disrespectful. It is. I mean, like, being deliberately belligerent on the fact that they're trying to make you feel like a piece of shit just because of what country you came from. Which doesn't make any fucking sense, you know? No, it doesn't, because everybody in this country, except for the Indians, originally came here as immigrants. Yeah, well, look at, I, look at our past history. My past history, anyway. My family tree. They're fucking Irish, man. Bloody Irish. They're fucking potato farmers. We come over to this country, and what do we get? 
shit in the face. And we get some fucking leprechaun who steals our lucky charms and puts them on fucking cereal boxes. <laughs> That's where the lucky charm came from. Yeah, a little fucking pinhead. He's, he doesn't even sound Irish, he sounds Scottish, the little wee little she bastard. stole your lucky charm. Just start our lucky charms. Magical, magically delicious, I suck my dick, you little fucking shithead. And kids beat their heads into the wall until blood comes out their ears just to get a hold of those fucking marshmallows, too. And they don't taste very good. <laughs> no, they taste like cardboard. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> oh, God, chicken escape. Did the chicken escape? Yeah. Oh, they do. Oh, they're in the pen. Oh, shit. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Run. Wait. Okay, run. Grab your wheat, it'll follow you. No, I need, uh, what's. Seeds. Fence. Seeds. I got my fences handy. I'm gonna go grab some seeds real quick and keep these chickens from escaping. And also I need a bucket of water. Uh, four buckets of water. Well, I have one bucket, so. Yeah, but you have a. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're, we're, we're seeds, 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 seeds. Don't panic. It's okay. It's okay, toucan. Don't panic. Uh, yeah, don't get your bird, your feathers in a bird. Feathers in a what? In a bird. In a bird. Instead of a twist. I can eat feathers in a bird. Well, then don't get your feathers in a... Well, I can't say don't get your panties in a wad. Don't get your feathers in a wad. Don't get your feathers all molded. How about that? You had to be a bird, didn't you? I had to be a bird. It's like you had to be a tiger. <laughs> Go cough up another hairball, you stupid cat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bird brain. Fucking cat. Fucking bird. Don't get eaten by a dog. Well, he got in the right place, but the other chicken took off. What the fuck is the other chicken? Did he did, oh, he took off. No! Yes. Max! Maximilian, where are you? The chicken's name is Maximilian. Uh, they're oh, both they're... in there. Okay, okay, don't panic. Smart panic. chicken. Booyah! Trap their ass in there. Fuck you, chicken. Okay, Maximilian and Rosetta are in the pen. And you thought you blocked them over there. No, they, I mean, I wanted them to come in. I didn't know how soon it would take them, or how long it would take them to figure that out, but they did all the work for me. I didn't even have to lure them in here. Nope. Ha-ha. They came in all by themselves. So now, what I can do... He got lonely running around in the yard, so he went to visit his mate. What I need to do is put... Look, he's watching you. Yeah. They better not fucking fall down there either. Aha, I covered it. Yes. Now they can't escape. That laid an egg. You scared the heck out of it. <laughs> Alright. So I need two more buckets of water. Uh, you know what? I'll just get it from the ocean. It's closer. Ow. I don't care, my foot hurts, now my ankle's sore, but I don't care. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> and that sheep thinks you've lost your marble. I mean, if I if I get seriously injured, just give me a beer and send me home. I'll be fine. That's right. You're a bird. I'm a toucan. Can't do it with a chicken. Aha. And the Ego Raider is complete! Yay, yay! You just drowned your chicken. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now look at that shit. Now how do you keep them from falling in the hole? Because the water flows all the way to the center. Oh, do you see that one just drop an egg down? Uh huh. Because the water keeps flowing, when a chicken is on top of the water in Minecraft, they keep jumping and hopping on the top of the surface. They never stop. Ah. So it's constant. Oh, he went down in for a second, but he jumped right back up. Yeah. It's That's because they can't swim. No, it's constant water skiing. This is how they get their exercise and get all... But you are going to put more chickens than that. Oh yeah, I take, I'll take i take the eggs from which they drop and throw them back in the, the pen. Now you have one in your box too. Yeah, I'm going to throw them... They won't break on the water. Yeah, they do. They break underneath the water. It's only one block tall of water. So they go through the water and hit the ground below it and spawn a chicken. Well, take the one out of your thing and throw it. 
I already threw those. I need to go find the ones on my chest. <coughs> and spawn some chickens. So that's pretty much it for the chicken eggerator. And you just have to, I mean, decorating it And you it don't up. need redstone. Nope. You just walk underneath the thing, down the stairs, and voila! Eggs. And it's because of the way you put the blocks in the corner in the water, it makes that whirlpool yeah. effect. Yeah, and the, the chickens are nice and happy because they get exercise. Their, their drumsticks taste really tasty. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> drumsticks are really tasty. They're nice and no muscular. bear. Hey, I hope they didn't hear you. <laughs> Yummy. Chicken. Who wants some fat chicken for dinner? Hey, do. Okay. Of course, I gotta sleep because it's nighttime all over again. It's like, what, the third day in Minecraft yet? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, daytime is not long enough. I guess we better run because daytime will disappear if we don't. Yep. Alright. This about does it for this episode. I'm gonna wrap it up here with a few stairs I'm gonna be placing. But yeah, you see how I uh, did that uh, chicken aggerator? What you do is you have to have a 12 by 12 with, with the fences on the outside, and you can just place water on these little pil uh, pyramid things on all four corners, and it flows down to the center. And you just put ladders there to block the water from getting through, and you can climb up here and you know get eggs. And the eggs won't break. No, not at all. Well, we have our sheepies. Ooh, they're grown up now. We have Clyde. We have what's her name? Shelly. We have Clyde. We have Shelly, and I will name this one. But she's a girl. Uh, Prissy. Uh, you know what? Prissy will work. What's up, Prissy? She's like, ah, uh, whatever. What she thinks she's uh, something. She's like, eh, whatever. She's right. the first one born in there, so she's hot shit. Well, guys, we're going to have to end the episode there. This is Tiddly Bits, episode 12. We've been, you've been uh, watching me, DS Toucan, and Karen, of course. And I liked your aggregator. That was cool. Well, in, in between now and the next episode, I'm going to add a roof on it, <laughs> along with uh, the sheep pan over in that direction. And okay. maybe get some chickens. Great. All right, guys. Part three of the farming session is coming up soon, so... Pay attention when I post the video. If you don't, I'll be a mad toucan. I'll be mad at your ass. So, uh, have fun, guys. Glad you guys enjoyed the video and all that. But, uh, see you later. See you later. Peace Bye. out.